and welcome to Marcella's Purse. I am Marcella. Today I am showing you how I made this tote bag that can be used perhaps as a picnic bag or I intend to use it really as a market bag, shopping bag, because I fancy. <laughs> and um, it has this finishing on the top and at the bottom. It has these leather straps that I actually made with leather pieces that I had from another project and you will see me working with them and um, it is a heavy cotton, a thick cotton, you can use any kind of canvas fabric or even denim and it is, it has a lining inside. I didn't put any pockets inside because I didn't think I needed them for, for this kind of bag. Um, I hand stitch the straps. If you want, you can replace these uh, handles using something like this, which you can buy online. They are ready made. You can, of course, replace for instead of real leather, you can use faux leather. And just uh, keep in mind what purpose you're going to give to this bag and how much weight you're going to be carrying so you can see uh, how strong your handle needs to be. If you buy online, uh, remember check the dimensions of the straps. There are different thicknesses and for this one, if you want something like this, I recommend uh, one of the thicker uh, sizes which is about five millimeters thick in thickness there are different kinds you might want to use some something simpler like this one which just a, a length of leather is also you can also get them online and haberdashery shops and it has already pre-punched holes for you to sew on place um i have um I am putting a link uh, in the description box below uh, with um, links to other videos where I show how to make different kinds of uh, straps because you can make just a fabric strap just like this one but made out of fabric and the description box sometimes people ask me where the details are in this side in this corner which it would be your right <laughs> corner of the video there's a little arrow if you click on it, if you cannot see any comments, any description, if you click on the arrow, the whole menu will appear below the video. So all the information will be there. Um, if I forget <laughs> anything, um, if I, have, I am forgetting to mention anything, I will add it to the description box. It is a simple video and I think it's something that you can modify in, in different ways. You can add a pocket, uh, you can use a, a different um, stabilizer. I only used fleece for this, but you can use fusible foam if you want it to stand up more like a basket, more more rigid. So there are many ways in you can change it. You can use it as a beach bag. You can add a tassel. Many many ways. But uh, this is what I really want to uh, use it for shopping. Uh, that's what I really made it for. Mind you, I might use it for a picnic as well, <laughs> but um, I wanted it to look um, handmade. I wanted it to be obvious that I made it, that I did every stitch. So it's simple. I use simple materials. I use a, a string, a cotton string to attach the strap and the, this decorating bit here. It is simple. And Sometimes my mind goes blank. I always try to bring something really exciting, but sometimes when we make something really complicated, it doesn't mean that it's going to be that fun or that interesting at the end. So something simpler, but with different skills, different ideas and inspiration for you, I think it, it would be quite useful as well. So thank you for being here. Keep watching. I shall start by talking about the fabric I am using. It is... Um, a cotton, quite thick, and I put some fusible fleece as interfacing. And uh, for for the lining, I am using this plain cotton, 
and I also put some interfacing is the the firm fusible interfacing that we have used before okay so I shall put that aside for a moment to talk about the handles I had some uh, leather uh, that I cut into length and I created I have one handle ready here and this is going to go like that and the way I made it I cut the strip of leather and I took some fusible foam I could have used uh, fusible fleece but I wanted something a little bit sturdier and I cut length a bit narrower than the width of the strap and I, I actually, instead of ironing because it is leather, I put a little bit of glue to keep it in position and then all the length except for this end as you can see here because then what I did, I folded it like so and I stitched lengthwise like you can see here and just to to create that shape I just uh, made a drawing uh, I wanted it to measure I forget how much uh, I wanted it to be about I wanted this little flap here uh, to be about two inches by by one and a half and I just took a piece of paper and I just drew the shape I wanted as you see a little bit rounded there in the corners and I did the, the holes for the stitches I measured they're just about a half a centimeter like an eighth of an inch apart and this is quite simply how I, I did that shape and I just rounded the corners oh I will leave the distance that I will be leaving is um, two and a quarter inches so two and a quarter I will start sticking um, this piece at, at, at this point I will be using the leather needle that I have in, for my sewing machine folding it like that and I, it was very easy just to stitch lengthwise as you can see here and finishing at this end it will allow me to put the handle flat on the fabric and sew it in place also, I think you can see some marks that I did. Those little holes I made with a wool uh, needle um, just to be able to sew it in place later on. So I have those holes ready and it will be easier for me to hand stitch the straps in place. I am going to start then, I, I shall do the other strap. But to start, I am going to hold this main fabric piece I shall fold it in half from top to bottom to find the middle point as we normally do I shall put the pin and I shall take the, the handle that I have ready I shall decide where I want the, the handles to to be placed so that's my middle point from the raw edge I'm coming down uh, about four and a half inches and if I continue the line from the middle point From the middle point to the left, 
I think I will leave two inches. have a pin here. I am putting the pin through one of the holes that I made in the strap and I am going to make it come out in another one of the holes so I can fix it in place. And then I, I will take the other piece, the other side, and I will measure and have a look if it is a, a good uh, a distance for the straps to be. I think that would be the right position. So what I am going to do, I am going to use a, some um, strong thread to attach the strap to the fabric. Okay, I finished attaching the handles on both pieces. I just made sure that they're both in the same position, well centered, and I shall put the right sides together and I am going to sew the two sides, so from top to bottom and from top to bottom on that side. And then I will take the lining fabric and I will put the right sides together of the lining fabric and I will also stitch on this side and on this side. That's all I will be doing for the moment. So this is my line, lining sewn on the sides and the main fabric as well. So I am taking the lining and um, I have the base, the bottom of the bag. We have done this before so many times, but just to remind ourselves, folding the base uh, horizontally to find the middle point there and here. And I am going to take the lining fabric this is the wrong side so that I have the right side of the main uh, of the lining fabric touching the right side of the base and that seam that we just created has to meet the middle point there so you can pin it or clip it as I am doing And of course, the other seam here on the on the other side has to meet the other middle point. And we will secure this this piece of fabric according to the uh, shape of the base. So I have secured the base to the body of the bag of the lining. So quite simply I will go to the sewing machine and I will sew all around. When I get to the corners I will be careful, I will stop on that corner and turn the fabric around so I can continue so on the other side it will be easier to keep the shape there. So here's my lining, that's the base and we can see the lining on the wrong side. This is the outside, the wrong side of the fabric. What I will do now, I am going to take the main fabric and the piece for the base 
of course finding the middle point here and on this side and like this I know that it looks strange but we're going to take the wrong side of the base and make it match the wrong side of the body of the bag and we're going to make those the seam meet the middle point here of the base and on the other side as well the middle point comes to meet the seam and this time we're going to do the same we did with the lining fabric but this time we're going to sew on the right side of the fabric so I have clipped the base to the body and I will go and stitch in the sewing machine and I shall come back to you again I have now the base attached and with all the raw edges exposed so I am taking here the tape this herringbone tape which is uh, one inch wide and what I want to do, I will start here on one side, yes, where the seam is, I shall overlap, cross over a bit. And what I want to do is to fold this uh, as if it were binding tape, hold this ribbon over like so. I will make it go all around. because uh, I, I want this to be a bit puffy as well so I iron on some fusible foam to the ribbon and on each end I left about half an inch uh, so I have an extra left there so when I go around the whole circumference I can um, overlap it a bit and help myself to do the finishing like so. So when it comes around the other way around, this end will be hidden. I'll explain myself when I finish stitching it. Okay, so I have the base attached, uh, I mean the, the tape attached. So this is what we have so far. And now I am going to take the lining fabric and I am going to put it inside the bag I will make uh, the seams match on both sides so I shall clip this around making sure that I follow the the edges properly and I am going to stitch here just as I did at the bottom so I'm going to stitch all around to uh, secure the two pieces together so the two parts are attached now so I'll get my needle and let's start here on the top where I have the raw edges and make sure that uh, the the interface and is not too close to the edge so you uh, can hide it it's not exposed it doesn't show when you finish sewing so I'm starting here at the seam this bit is overlapping and so I'll go to the back Oop. so I'm trapping the ribbon and 
and then I'm making like a ladder stitch make the thread come this way I'm making sure that I'm making the needle come at the, the same distance there the distance as long as it, it as it is an even distance between all the bits of thread you decide how far apart I think that my separation is about half an inch so then I go to the back and I make the needle come this way and then can you see the distance there? Okay, I am finishing the top now and it's nice and puffy and I'm coming to to the end and I shall actually I shall trim I should have make this end shorter as well of the what I mean uh, shorter I mean the the fusible fleece so it's not too bulky so I'm going to fold it like this and I'll put it where I began like so and I will finish my stitches so that it comes bringing the thread over slice it slide it making it come here which is the distance that I have been making between the stitches I made a knot there and I will secure it and will pass the needle away so I can actually trim the string and hide the, the end now at this point I can get some red thread and make a blunt stitch to secure this end here or I could use some fabric glue to make sure that this end doesn't come undone because this um, string, these stitches are just for decorative purposes really so I will, I think I will put a bit of glue and I'll come back so I put a bit of glue there and I'm securing it with a peg until it dries well and as you see I, as you see I did the same with the bottom and here in the handles uh, I, I did decided to make more stitches um, if you saw earlier I, I only had to alternate the stitches but then I decided to cover it all up so we have our bag it's nice and big and we can give it any use any use we want so thank you very much um, as you saw it's a simple project but I hope you have enjoyed it and you have an idea on how to change it as well so if you like the video don't forget to click like don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe thank you for being here bye